Hey everybody, hope you're having a good day. Figured I would check out Ergo and how to mine it. Went to mining pool stats to look at all the different pools. Looks like Nano Pool is the largest, so I decided to go with Hero Miners. So if you go over to start, it gives you the different servers. I chose the US server. So you'll want to go over to options, pools, add, call it Ergo, do your connection. Don't forget to add your port number. Copy that. Worker name. You'll have to set up a wallet if you just want to test. I'll do this a lot with just random coins just to see if it's worth mining. So if you just want to do a test, you can go over here and just find a random wallet. Give it a copy. Just make sure you name this test so you know that this isn't your actual wallet. Worker password. Nothing. Go down to Ergo and you're all set. But if you just want to jump right into it, they have multiple wallets. So if you go over to Google, Ergo Wallet. You can do the desktop, but that's a full wallet, so you'll have to download the blockchain. Could take a while, so I went with the web version. Download. I did Chrome, and it's an extension to your Chrome browser, so I've already got it installed. And when you first set it up, it'll have you create a name, and then create a password, and then it'll show you your seed phrase, and you're going to want to write that down store it somewhere safe preferably not on your mining computer and then once it's there it'll give you your wallet address and then you can put that into your actual file and then I went into here algorithm auto Lycos 2 I chose NB miner awesome miner gives you two choices here nano miner was took about a minute to load before it started mining so it was a little slower to load and then a little slower on the actual mining as well so I just stuck with NB miner. You can add the worker name and then start mining. The overclocks that I found seem to match up with the Ethereum overclocks, so high memory, low core, and the 30 series do great. 165-ish on my 3060 Ti's. Haven't spent too much time on this yet though, so the 20 series cards aren't as efficient. Getting about 120 on my 2080 Ti. Again, I'm just using my Ethereum overclocks. I haven't put hours into overclocking the cards to see what works best. Just kind of a generic start. I wanted to see what this coin was all about. But the 10 series cards are just absolutely terrible on it. It's kind of like Octo. Octo doesn't work really well on the 10 series cards. And then it's pretty good on the 20 and 30 series. But this one... It's really geared towards 30 series cards. There's massive 165 at 120 watts versus 95 at 150 for a 1080 Ti. I'm sure I could do some more tweaking, spend too much time on it. I'm just going to do a couple hour test here, see how it goes. But yeah, it seems to be pretty comparable. All my GPUs together, it's, it's close to what Ethereum would be earning. So it really just comes down to is, you know, if you're cashing out today, you'd go for whatever's most profitable, but... If you think the value will go up later on, then that's something to think about. I haven't spent too much time researching the coin yet, but the mining of it's fun. Something new to learn. Looks like difficulty's going up. People are joining the network. The coin's been around for a while, since 2018. First, I'm really hearing of it, so might have just stayed underneath the radar, I'm supposing. It's got an all-time high of $30, sitting at 11 right now. That all-time high was back in 2018. Let's look at the one-year chart. So it's had a nice spike recently. So as far as the future of the coin, not quite sure. Looks like it's in a big spike right now. So this spike could go back down and could fall back to January levels of 50 cents. And that would be terrible if you wanted to cash out in two months and it's only worth 50 cents again. So the future of the mining on it is, is definitely, it's speculative. It's up right now to $11, but in a month from now, when you go to cash out, it could only be worth five bucks, four bucks, versus if you're sticking with Ethereum, you know, it only goes down by half. So you always got to think of the, the future returns, not just what's most profitable today. Sometimes you'll get some of these coins that pop up out of nowhere, like Dubai coin, coin that's been around forever. Don't know much about it, but every once in a while, price spikes, so it looks like it's super profitable to mine, and then it goes back down. So got to think of the future of the coin when you're mining as well. It's not so much what it's worth today, but what you think it'll be worth tomorrow or in a year when you go to cash out if it's worth nothing. I have hundreds of dead coins that I've tried to mine over the years that just, they come in, everybody mines it, exchanges ended up dropping them, they're dead coins. So you got to think of that too the future of the coin that you're mining. You want to stick with coins that you know have some good development and it's been around for a while. But it's fun learning a new coin, learning a new algorithm. Hopefully that helps you guys set up, test out Ergo on your rigs. 
please make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Later.